Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Nitro Duo, which is from uh, SL Interface. It's a prototype product that might be hitting a crowdfunding campaign later this year, and it looks like a little Windows device that you can hold in your hand, but you can also uh, flip a button and switch it over to an Android device that you're holding in your hand. It actually has two separate chipsets. It has an Intel Atom Z37, Z7, Z3745 Bay Trail processor and a Freescale IMX6 uh, Quad uh, ARM Cortex A9 processor. And it's running both operating systems sort of separately and independently of one another. Four gigs of RAM for Windows, two gigs of RAM for uh, Android, and it gives you the ability to uh, you know, go back and forth between the two different operating systems, and it's not, the, it's, touch is oh, not the touch is not working on it right now, so we're just sort of demonstrating <laughs> how it works. So again, this is a prototype. It's a little bit thicker maybe than the finished product, which might look a little bit more like this model here. And um, again, it's, I was going to say it's not a real product. It's a real product, but it's a one-of-a-kind product right, right. now. Um, also, uh, when it hits kick, uh, Kickstarter or Indiegogo or some other campaign running site, it, uh, it'll come with this docking station, which allows you to connect it to a display. So, uh, again, Touch isn't working on this version right now, but it's powering that big display that we see behind us and is running a full Windows uh, operating system. Uh, the goal is to ship it with Windows 10, and uh, I think you're saying, uh, which version of Android? Right now it is KitKat. Okay. We intend to go to the latest version at the time we ship. Okay. So. And, and um, so it's the... Um, you know, the idea is basically you've got a small device that, well, small for a computer, small for a desktop computer, small for a laptop or a tablet-style computer. Combine um, this and get rid of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, but, you know, clearly pretty big for a phone. So it's a pretty geeky product. It's going to sort of appeal to people who want that idea of being able to run a full Windows operating system. Windows 10, they're saying there's Windows 10 for phones, but it's Windows 10 mobile for phones. This runs the full Windows operating system. That's right. The demo unit we're looking at here for driver issues is, is running Windows 7, but it's, uh, the plan is to ship it with Windows yeah. 10 once this those are worked out. This one's got Windows 10 on it, but he's not talking to his dock, so device driver issues in the, uh, in the uh, docking right. station. So. so it's early days still. You know, it's going to be a little while before this becomes a consumer product. Right. We're just sort of looking at the prototype right. as uh, SL Interface here is, uh, is sort of gauging interest. So uh, again, it's got uh, sort of off-the-shelf components right now. It's, it's not a super high-quality screen. It's not the fastest processors available, but it's kind of impressive that it all fits into this one little box. It's impressive that you can get off-the-shelf stuff right. that now fits in a box <laughs> this small this one, yeah. and uh, and sort of build your own system. So, uh, you know, it could get smaller, it could get faster, it could uh, get a better screen, etc. if there's enough interest for we're it. Actually, if, uh, we're actually thinking about making the final rev and using it uh, i3, Skylink, and Singapore design. So again, you have much more a higher performance laptop feel to it, mm -hmm. uh, yet still have that Android uh, smartphone. And it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and it has a full-size USB port. Yeah. And if you plug something into the uh, the USB port here, yeah. when you're running Windows, uh, it'll recognize any uh, storage devices, keyboards, etc. Anything that Windows recognizes. Yeah. And if you switch over to Android, it will automatically recognize it in Android. And pressing keys on that keyboard is not going to type something in your Word document in Windows. That's Windows right. is basically just hiding in the background. Right. Uh, you can put Windows to sleep and use Android and get longer battery life. That's right. Uh, you're only going to get about an hour of battery life uh, with the built-in battery like when you're using Windows. Practice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you uh, but if you were just using Android and using it more like a phone with a 1,000 milliamp hour battery, it's going to uh, going to give you you know a day or two of standby time or uh, a couple of hours of screen on time if you're going to use it uh, for basic Android activities. So again, sort of in the prototype, it's not a finished product here. That's why it looks a little bit like something that somebody put together with their own two hands because they did. Uh, but it's uh, it's sort of an impressive uh, demonstration of what's possible if you with a little bit of know-how and a bunch of uh, uh, cheap uh, components. So final uh, pricing hasn't been announced yet. Uh, the launch date for a crowdfunding campaign hasn't been launched yet. Uh, the idea is to bring it here to CES so that you can uh, uh, gauge the interest, right? All right. Uh, anything else I should know? Uh, hopefully see it later this year. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. And this is uh, Shane Lewis. You're the CEO? The, the founder and CEO of SLR Phase. So, yep. <laughs>